In this explainer, we answer the question, what is a logical connective? Our focus here is on the so-called Boolean connectives, negation, conjunction, and disjunction. We know that sentences are either simple, that is atomic, or compound or complex. A is a cube is a simple or atomic sentence, while it is not the case that A is a cube is complex or compound. We begin talking about the uh, connectives, that is, the ways in which we can compound a sentence by starting with negation, conjunction, and disjunction. Now let's talk about the function of each of these connectives. The function of negation is to deny a claim. It is not the case that, it is false that, not, and so forth. The negation symbol operates on a claim by rejecting it. The function of the conjunction is to conjoin two claims. Both are, for example. We often see A and B as an articulation of conjunction. Conjunction operates on two claims by asserting the two together are the case. Lastly, the disjunctions function is to assert that at least one of two claims is the case. One or the other is or, either or, for example. The disjunction operates on two claims by requiring at least one be the case. In fact, as we'll see in another video, both may be the case. Now, with conjunction and disjunction, we can string together multiple claims. In other words, it's not just that two claims are asserted as being the case or two claims are asserted as being the case in terms of the disjunction where we say that at least one is the case. So we could have, for example, multiple conjunctions, multiple disjunctions. Let's finish up with how we symbolize these connectives. First, the negation is symbolized with a hook. Now, in some versions of the deductive system that we learn, we get different symbols, but for language proof and logic, we use the hook. The negation is always placed to the left of whatever sentence it negates. For example, it's not the case cube A, or it's not the case that both A is a cube and A is a dodec. The conjunction is symbolized with the caret. The conjunction is always placed between the sentences it conjoins. So you have cube A conjunction large A. You have it's not the case that both cube A and dodec A and A is large a more colloquial way of expressing that sentence example is this. It's not the case that A is both a cube and a dodec, but A is large. Lastly, the wedge is the symbol we use for the disjunction. As with conjunction, the disjunction is always placed between the sentences it conjoins. So, we say, a is a cube or A is large, we say it's not the case that A is both a cube and a dodec or A is large. Now you'll notice the parentheses in uh, some of these examples. Parentheses tell us that compound sentences are treated as a unit. So for example, the negation covers the conjunction, and we know this because the conjunction is placed in parentheses. Here, again, negation 
covers the conjunction and we see that the conjunction, the second conjunction rather, is what drives the sentence because we're saying not but large A. I hope this brief explainer helps you understand what is a logical connective.